What's good YouTube, it's your boy YBC Gabar and I'm back with another video. We are now a week past the All-Star break and one thing I have noticed in the league is that there are some criminally underrated players that are not getting the respect they deserve for how great they have been playing. Now on the other end, there are a few overrated players that are getting too much love right now and haven't been playing as good as we thought or haven't taken a leap since last season. In this video, you're going to get my overrated and underrated NBA players thus far. If you're watching this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe before I get into my list. Before I get into my list, I want to talk about a few honorable mentions, and the first one is Lonzo Ball. As a third option behind two ball dominant players, Lonzo still managed to put up 14, 5, and 4 and shooting a career high 42% from the field and a career high 40% from 3. His defensibility and shooting has made the Pelicans better and even though they have been struggling, we are only going to see him take his game to another level. Now the other two people I want to talk about as an honorable mention are known as two of the best players in their position, but for some reason they are not getting the recognition that they should. The two players are Mr. Acumpo. Oh my gosh, Acumpo! Acumpo! And Chef Harden. Now if you pay attention to the NBA all the time, then you should be on the same boat as me. But every time I see the MVP voting and rankings, these guys are not on here. It wasn't until I sat down and watched a few Nets and Bucks games until I realized how much an MVP candidate Harden is and Giannis. Harden currently leads the league in assists with 11.5 and is putting up 25 points per game and 9 rebounds and shooting 37% from 3, has a 24.3 PER and 5.7 win shares. Crazy to think that a person who's on a team that is currently missing their best player and is almost averaging a triple double would have his season be under the radar. Wake up everyone, come on. Now on to Giannis. The two time MVP is putting up the exact same numbers if not better this season, but he won't win the award because of voter fatigue. As we know, the award isn't about the most valuable player, it's all a narrative. Giannis is currently averaging 29 points, 11 rebounds and 6 assists on 56% shooting with a 29 PER and 6.7 win shares. Now let's get to the overrated players on my list. You might hear some hot takes, so be ready. The first player is Ben Simmons. Now don't get me wrong, he's been playing great this year and is a huge reason why the Sixers have been balling out this season, but when the team is in a close game situation, Ben has proven many times that he doesn't show up. The reason why I say he's overrated is because people see him as a top 5 point guard in the league, but when I see a player being a liability in close game situations, especially in the playoffs, I could not put him in that conversation. Look at the people above him and even some of the people under him. We go from Curry, Kyrie, Dame, they all they're good for four quarters straight they can get a bucket at any time they're not a liability on any part of the court and we even look at some of the people under him like jamal murray who was scoring 50 points in the playoffs and was never a liability like ben was on offense ben also only averages 16 8 and 7 so if defense is that important to you in the league where 40 plus people average 20 or more then i guess i see your reasoning the second player on this list is pascal spin cycle siaka People were considering Pascal as a borderline superstar when Kawhi left the Raptors and that he will take over as the Raptors number one option. Well, as of right now, that did not pan out as we expected. The Raptors lost a very winnable series in last year's bubble playoffs against the Celtics and Siakam only had two games with a positive plus minus and only had one game with above 20 points and had playoff lows of 10, 12, and 13 points in three out of the six games in that series. As a first scoring option for the Raptors, Ben and Siakam have not shown up in the playoffs. I really hope they do prove me wrong. I don't want to get too negative in this video, so let's switch to these underrated players that deserve way more respect than they are getting. The first player in that category is Shai Gilgis Alexander. The point guard, this point guard that is currently averaging 23 points, 4 rebounds, and 6 assists, and shooting 41% from the field and 41% from 3 is not being talked about as one of the best point guards in the league. OKC doesn't really have a lot of other players that can score the ball consistently, so Shai has been doing it all for OKC and will continue to play better as the Thunder get more picks drafted for the future. Currently averaging 20 points on 50, 40, 90 splits. And that player is Tobias Harris. And that player is Tobias Harris. You probably didn't know that. He went from being one of the most overrated players to the underrated players real quick. His defense was something that was an issue last year and his ability to score was inconsistent. But, but now that both things have changed, Tobias has really been playing like a top tier small forward. His efficiency is something that needs to be talked about more. The third player on this list is Malcolm Brogdon. With the trade of Victor Oladipo and Karis LeVert just now returning back to action, which is a great sign, it's clear that Malcolm is the guy the Pacers want to pair up with Sabonis in the future. 
The 6'5 point guard is currently putting up 21, 4, and 6 steals a game on 46, 40, 90 splits and has shown many times that he can do it on both ends of the court. As the Patriots get older, the duo of Sabonis and Malcolm is something we are going to hear more often as time comes. I'm still wondering why the Bucks decided to not bring him back after his rookie contract ended. Now the last person on this list I want to talk about is the most underappreciated players in the league and that's DeMar DeRozan. Before I get into that, I want to give my condolences out to his family. DeMar just lost his father, so hopefully he can come back soon. We'll be keeping your family in our prayers. DeMar is currently putting up 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 7 assists a game, and the Spurs are currently the 7th seed and only a few games back from the 4th seed. As the season goes, I hope these players get the respect that they deserve, and I also hope that all the players that I see overrated can completely prove me wrong. If you're still here and you like this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Peace!